MPPs at Queen's Park are going to get some important training in saving lives tomorrow. Skills like restarting someone's heart after cardiac arrest. But what's really remarkable is who's going to be training them. Genevieve Tomney joins us live now to explain. Well, that's right, Diana. It's all in support of a program that would see every high school student in the province learn, trained on how to use a defibrillator with the hopes that it will save many lives down the road. High school is the place for students to learn skills they'll use for the rest of their lives. But this class is getting some vital training they hope they'll never have to use. How to restart someone's heart using a defibrillator. I'm clear. I'm clear. This is all practice using pretend devices, but the teens are taking it seriously, especially Kadeem Daly, a grade 12 student and lifeguard who once helped rescue a man using one of these machines. A machine like this can really help before EMS comes, so without having it, it's a big problem. Having it increases the chance of the person living. In fact, the Heart and Stroke Foundation says a defibrillator can boost your chances of survival by 30 percent if it's used in the first few minutes after cardiac arrest. About a hundred high schools in Toronto have the units, but many others do not, including Senator O'Connor College. The defibrillators are around 1,500 to 2,000, and no school can afford that in their budget. We also put a defibrillator in the high school if there isn't one there already. That's where the ACT Foundation comes in. On top of expanding this training to all Ontario high schools, it wants to put real units in the schools too. It's already got $1.4 million from the province, 30% of its goal. Now it's looking for corporate sponsors to make up the rest. Arthur, EMS has arrived now. So you and the students here uh, say it's worth it. If I never knew how to do this and I was in a case where somebody was to faint and be unconscious, then I would feel unuseful. So those teens you just saw, Diana, will be going to Queen's Park tomorrow to show off their skills to MPPs with the hope that those politicians will then go back to their communities and use their influence to help get corporate sponsors to make up the rest of the money that they need. Reporting live on Wellington Street, I'm Genevieve Tomney.